Welcome back, adventurers. Hello. This weekend at California Adventure marks the start of the Lunar New Year celebration, which means new, new food. food. Mm -hmm. You can expect a similar style to the Holiday Festival of Foods, where you can get a sip and saver pass, fifty dollars with the magic key if you're a magic key holder, and a couple right. dollars more if you're not. And it's a good deal because with that, you get six items, which you can get from the booths right in front of Pixar Pier, or some of the restaurants are participating as well and have sip and saver portions. So we're super excited to try out some of the items that caught our eye, drinks, sweets, foods alike. I'm looking forward to the pork sliders. Ooh. I've heard really good things, so you know we just can't wait. Yep, they got sweets, savory items, and spicy stuff. We're gonna try and stay away from that. Yeah. But what are we waiting for? Let's bring you along, try some food, and welcome to Dream Park. Right next door, next to the Lucky Lantern booth, you have the Longevity Noodle Company where you can find the garlic noodles. They top it with some Parmesan and they say that it's doused in a zesty garlic butter. So I'm hoping it's not gonna be too spicy. A lot of cheese. Hmm, not sure. Flavor's good. I like that garlic butter, but there's really nothing special about it. It's just noodles, there's no like shrimp, there's no anything really, it's just noodles, cheese, and sauce. I have to say this is a weight on it for me. I wouldn't get this again if I had the choice. I'd get something else. There's a lot of other items you can use it. I wouldn't get these noodles. Next up, we have a little treat from the Paradise Garden Grill. I got the Tiger Milk Tea, which has some brown sugar boba in there. There is another milk tea over at the, I don't know the restaurant, Lucky Fortune Cookie, I think it's called, right over there next to Pacific Wharf. They have a Hong Kong style milk tea, but there's no boba. This one has boba. So if you like it, then go for this one. They even give you a little compostable straw. I like it. Keep in mind, they do put ice in it. So once you take out the ice, this is about how much you're getting of the drink, which is still pretty decent given the sip and savor. But let's jump right in. Very sweet. Refreshing though. I do like it. It was a pretty warm day today, so this is refreshing. I like it. I'll say this is worth it. Very good use of the Sip and Savor Pass. You get six items, so if you want a drink, there's a couple of non-alcoholic options. This would be one of them, and I'd say go for it. It's worth it. Beef Bulgogi Short Rib. Not bad at all. I will say, I was caught by surprise with this. Um, very juicy, very flavorful. It tastes like I actually went out to a Korean barbecue restaurant and got some Beef Bulgogi. I'm gonna go ahead and say this is a worth it. Ugh. Meat's tender as well, so it did not disappoint. Worth it. Oh, God. Something very simple, but yet so delicious. I've heard a lot of strong comments about these. Very heavy on the Parmesan. Ugh, I can barely get my fork around the noodles. All right, that'll do. Not a big fan. Very strong with the garlic. It wasn't very flavorful. I just got a bunch of garlic. Not a fan. And my breath is gonna smell like garlic now. So this will be a weight on it for me. All right, Tiger Milk Tea. Um, Michael said it was sweet. I don't think it's that sweet, which is fairly a good thing for me. Because if it's too sweet, then like, no. But it's nothing too special. It, it just tastes like your, your regular milk tea that you'll get at your local spot. But it's not bad either, so I'd say this is worth it. You could definitely catch me drinking this again. Mulan learned to respect the strength and discipline of the martial arts from her father. This century's old art form celebrates a rich heritage of bravery and honor.
That was fun. That was Mulan's Lunar New Year processional. It featured a lot of characters actually. Yeah, Tigger, Goofy, Chip, Dale. There's a lot of dancers. There was a lot of Chinese art form in there. Really cool actually. So if you have time to see it, or maybe you can make time, it's only like a five minute parade where they come down the route and then they flip around, do a 180. And then you also get dinner and a show because you can just grab a, a table right here alongside after you pick up your food. So it's a win-win. But speaking of food, we have three more taps to go through. The next one is coming from Dragon Spice Traders and Prosperity Bao and Buns. The milk tea was satisfying, but this is like refreshing. It is the, what is it called? I gotta pull up my guide here. The Dancing Firecracker, and it has pineapple juice, guava puree, spicy honey syrup, hibiscus syrup, and lime juice. That's a mouthful. And they even include like this little honey stick, which is cool. It actually tastes like honey. Spicy honey. You can find it at the Dragon Spice Trader booth. And I just wanna jump, I just wanna jump in. Whoa! That rocked my world, whoa. It is spicy, it's like a little kick to it. It's non-alcoholic, but if I was like a five-year-old, I would think this is like a margarita or something. It's like a, it almost tastes like cayenne pepper. It just like sits in the back of your throat, kind of gives it a little kick, but it's really good. Very sweet at first, probably because of all the syrups and juices, but that little kick from whatever spiciness, really good. I liked it, worth it. Kenny, I'm not sure if that's gonna be for you, but this is, mmm. Worth it. Now if you head over to the Prosperity Bow and Buns booth, then you find two other items. The first one is going to be, um, I'm going to butcher the name. It is the Baked Char Su Bao, I think so. Hopefully I didn't disgrace anyone by pronouncing that incorrectly. But it looks, it looks quite satisfying. They give you these little bao buns. Oh man, it's going to be messy for sure. Oh, it's like a sloppy joe. Ah. Wow, very meaty, very flavorful. So I'm pretty sure the meat that they're using is pork. Really good, it's very savory. Kind of like the bulgogi we had, it has a little bit of sweetness to it. They give you like this pickled onions, some, uh, some kind of chili pepper, which I took off. And the buns are very soft, very good. I would say this is worth it as well. Two for two, I like it. But you also have another item from the same booth, which is gonna be the Mickey-shaped hot dog bun. So you can't come to the Lunar New Year celebration at California Adventure without getting a Mickey-shaped hot dog bun. Like, look at that. His ears have hot dogs in them, his nose is a hot dog, his eyes are hot dogs. So we're just gonna take off his ear. Now, it's not really served warm, but it is a pretty soft pretzel. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. I'm sorry, Mickey. Nothing crazy. It's good. It's a nice little snack, but it's nothing crazy. Just like a hot dog with some pretzel. They do offer some condiments, so you can get mustard with it if you want, but it's not anything special. So I would say use your tabs on something else. Maybe this would be like a good snack for your kids, but otherwise, it's just okay. Nothing really crazy. I'd say it's a weight on it. Now, I know there's a lot of ingredients in this drink. Pineapple juice, lime juice, spicy honey. Not things I would think about putting into one of my drinks, but we're gonna step out of the comfort zone tonight. <clears throat> Whoa. My goal is right, that does sit in the back of your throat. <clears> throat> Woo, excuse me, I'm sorry. Okay, that's gonna be a weight on it for me. I, I don't dig the little spicy tickle in the back of my throat. It's a refreshing drink when you first sip it but then once it settles right away really really gets you so I'm gonna I'm gonna wait on that one and uh, we'll, we'll move on now I had my concerns about this pretzel and Michael just strengthened them so um, expect disappointment and you won't be disappointed huh you see what I did there that's a wait on it the pretzel bread was dry the hot dog was decent, it tastes like any other hot dog. But I'm not using a tab on that. Next, baked char su bao coming up next. Maybe Michael pronounced it better than I did. Oh boy. Ah, the bun already split. Surprisingly soft bun. Did not expect that. 
we skip all the onions, we skip all that pepper. Ah, I don't know, you don't wanna. Like I said, stepping out of the comfort zone. I don't know what to think of this. It was a little sweet in my opinion, I don't know why. I honestly don't know what to say about this one. It's it's not bad, you know? For what they have here, it's it's fairly decent. The meat is pretty good too. And like I said, that bread was soft, made the sandwich a little more enjoyable. So, I'll say it's a worth it for me. I would get that item again. So right there, there's six items off the Sip and Saber Pass. Although the tabs went quick, the lines definitely did not. We had to wait quite a bit to get these items. And just expect lines whenever you come, whether it's a weekday or a weekend, because there's only so many booths you can get these items from. But besides the restaurants that are participating, there's also some that are not part of the Sip and Saver program, but I still have an inspired menu. So that's why we're saving the hoisin sliders over in Hollywood Land for last. We're gonna catch it on our way out. But before we do, we need to also appreciate all the effort and decorations that went into the Lunar New Year celebration. So let's take a stroll on our way to our last item and hope you guys enjoy. and pork sliders they got a lot riding on them we came over to the Hollywood catering truck and it's not part of the sip and savor pass so I mean it's got some expectations to fulfill got some cabbage or like coleslaw cabbage kind of stuff the ho hoisin marinated pork hey now there's a kick Ooh, there there was definitely a little bit of a Hints of that, that cayenne pepper kick. Same thing as the dancing firecracker. Like, it hits your taste buds, it rocks them for a minute, and then once it goes down your throat, you start feeling the tickle. It was good, but whatever they put in here, they also put in that drink over there because it is the same kind of spice. I'm sad that they only give you two of these sliders. There was a really small portion for about $6.50. It's not included in the Sip and Saber Pass, but it is delicious. They do taste really good. I'd actually probably say it's better than the like the little bao bun that we had. I like these. I think it's worth it. And you can find them over here in Hollywoodland at the Hollywood Catering Truck. I think it's pretty good. Now right here we have the hoisin pork sliders. And like I mentioned early in the video, I heard a lot of good things about these. So, honestly don't know what that is. Uh, some onions, red onions. Alright. That was just all over with my taste buds. That was like sweet, tangy, and a little spicy. There's something in there that gives it a little kick. I don't know exactly what it was, but I'm digging it. I heard strong things about those sliders. Let me tell you, facts. Poison pork sliders. Get yourself some today. Well, that was a Lunar New Year celebration, if I do say so myself. We saw some fun characters, Mulan and Mushu in the processional. They're always great to see. And there's also characters with new outfits. We also got to see Tigger get his moment of fame. You're the tiger. Yeah, go figure. And Chippendale also got some outfits. I loved it with Goofy. But with the celebration also comes new menu items, which we all know there's going to be hit or miss items, something you really love, something you wish you wouldn't have gotten. The Chinese hot dog bun is the one I wish I didn't get. Yeah, but the firecracker, the dancing firecracker, the Ooh, drink. Everyone spicy. should try it at least. There's going to be something for everyone here, so make sure you come out and try it. You have until February 13th to do so. But in the meantime, thanks for joining us. Don't forget to get those hoisin pork sliders. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Can't leave them out. Make sure to hit the subscribe button below because we'd love for you to follow along. And then we will see you guys on the next Dream Park adventure. Thanks, everyone. Catch you guys later.